Jane Austen always referred to the larger house as the great house in her letters, and it was as familiar to her as her own home. One letter talks about going to the great house, where she dawdled away an hour very comfortably. Other letters describe her dining at the great house with her brothers and sisters. The house is now a visitor attraction with the Austen family heirlooms, as well as a collection of early women's writing. First editions of Jane's work and many other women's writers are kept in the library's collection. The house also features the Knight family dining table, at which Jane herself would have dined, alongside a portrait of her brother Edward, his handwritten travel journal, and a suit he owned as a young man. In the grounds is an Elizabeth Blackwell-inspired herb garden, commissioned by Edward and frequently mentioned by Jane in her letters. This, this, this is um, uh, the reading room that did belong to the Knight family um, and, and would have housed their books, or well, part of their collection here, here in this collection. And people can come here and view, the, view this room and have a, have a look round and see, see what sort of books that we have here in the collection. And then we've got exhibition cabinets all round the building, so we, um, we can exhibit a lot of rare books for people to have a look at when they arrive. Jane Austen's House Museum in Chawton is the house where Jane Austen lived for the last eight years of her life and is the most treasured Austen site in the world. The museum receives between 40 to 50,000 visitors a year and houses an unrivalled collection of objects owned by Jane Austen and her family. <laughs>